Let's draw a circle. We need the tubulins and tubulins, and then we need a radial gradient fill. Double click on your gradient tool and then you'll get it and then fill it in with the radial gradient. And we will uh, grab one of the color here and the outline is a little bit too thick. Let's make it thinner and use gray for the outline. I'll make a copy of it. Let's go to the gradient tool again and the second color for our alpha tubulin. Then uh, we need to make these into something called a scatter brush. And before we do that, we need to uh, expand it. Expand appearance and here expand. I will uh, specify it as eight objects. We don't need to do too many steps. So what you see now is that it um, our gradient has turned into eight uh, circles. Like when you zoom out, then it looks like a gradient of its own. Once that's done, come to the brush tab and then you can click here, new brush, choose scatter brush. Click OK. Let's name this uh, alpha tubulin. All right. And we will do the same thing for our beta tubulin. Again, object expand eight objects. Let's come here and a new brush again scatter brush this is beta tubulin grab your ellipse tool and then draw an ellipse let's remove the fill okay we don't need something this big it can be a little bit smaller okay uh i'll rotate it for minus 15 degrees like that select the path and then come to the scatter brush click on your brush and you will have the tubulins scattered along the path. I'll make the circle a little bit bigger. So now you see we have eight tubulin at the front. Then I will make a copy of this. Apply our beta tubulin onto the onto the path. Use the direct selection tool and select this anchor point right here and delete it. Press on delete. Then you can delete the back part of the uh, tubules. And this one also delete. Select the anchor points and then come here to cut path and cut path as selected anchor points. This one as well. Cut it. This needs to go to the front. Now they look a little bit weird because uh, one of them is a little bit too long. Do that after uh, you break the you break the path. This part overlaps a little bit. And uh, the way to fix that uh, overlapping is that just to uh, just scale it up a little bit until it fits. All right. Good. Okay. Like you guys don't celebrate Christmas in Turkey, right? You guys celebrate Ramadan. Do you celebrate Ramadan? All right. And, and now I will start to make copies of our tubulin sheet. Yeah. Oh, when is Ramadan? And what do you guys do? during Ramadan. All right. So in order to make that shift, we will select all of the, of the parts on the right, the half on the right, and then just move it down like that. And okay, let's make a This a darker version and another one, a darker version. Yeah, so this is what a uh, scatter brush is what you need for making a uh, micro tubule. <laughs> to do is uh, let me copy these and tilt this back to like horizontal. So we need to rotate it back. Rotate it for 15 degrees. And rotate it for 15 degrees. This one as well. Yeah, so now they're back. And uh, now they're back flat. You can put it at the back. And then delete this 
anchor point. I'll first make a copy of this. And then I select everything and expand appearance. So now you see that all these uh, all these scatter brush, uh, all the components in your scatter brush has became a object of its own. Now we can select these. Uh, then we need to ungroup again. And select uh, these right uh, these right three rows, and move one step in, and put them all to the back. These two rows, one, two, three, three steps in, put them to the back. This row, one, two, three, four. Again, uh, oops. These, uh, this row, one, two, three, four, and put it to the back. All right. And this can remove it. This. Hmm. Should I remove? Yeah, I'll remove it for now. No. Let me put this back again. One, two, three. These as well. One, two, three. All right. So you see, uh, by moving the row, um, by moving the column a little bit inward, then you started to have that 3D effect of the sheet that is folding to, to the back. That's why we need to do this adjustment. And okay, let's do it on the left. Select these three columns and uh, one step to the one step to the right and move them back. And these two columns, one, two, three. Oh, I accidentally move it down. Okay. Good. And then this. One, two, three, four. Okay, I will do like. Uh... Oh, you're from Germany. Sorry, sorry. I am. I'm mistaken. Portugal, based in Sweden. Ah, oh my. Oh, uh, Swedish coffee is so delicious. <laughs> I say it all the time. And uh, what do you? Uh, what? Uh, what are you? What are you doing in Sweden? For a PhD. And uh, Hartenzeg, sorry, I totally forgot you're from Germany. Which part of Germany? I remember Liu is um, it's in uh, in in like west, like Rhine somewhere. Liu is also uh, in Germany. Okay, uh, guys, what I'm doing here is that uh, I'm trying to apply I'm trying to apply a shadow onto my tubulin here to make to push them a little bit to the back because uh, when I was uh, when I was making them they're a little bit too light so at the um if you have made if you made them dark enough at the beginning then you will not have this problem but all right everybody so we have our microtubules 